Before this video begins, I wanted to say our thoughts and prayers go out to the people who lost their homes in the tornadoes on March 25th that hit this area four days after this was filmed. It was on the ground for around 50 miles. The park was closed for several days to clean up the damage. On this Two Cent Tuesday, I'm gonna talk about my backpack that I absolutely love. It's the Offspray Manta 24. I'm here, Bill and the guys are gonna play golf here at Oak Mountain State Park in Pelham, Alabama. And while they're playing golf, I thought I would go for a hike. We're gonna do probably about eight or 10 miles. I'm gonna talk about the things that I like about this backpack and the things that I don't like about it. One of the things that I really like about this backpack is that the water tube, it attaches here with a magnetic. So it keeps it out of the way and it's not swinging and not getting in your way while you're hiking. Last week, me and Rebecca went back to Duck Creek Trails that's up in Coleman. We hiked all the way around the lake. If you haven't seen my video, I hiked 15 miles, but me and her did the 19.2 miles, and we did it in seven hours and 33 minutes. I think that's awesome for people that really don't hike very much. It's early and it is so cold this morning, but it's so pretty. I got four hours and we'll see where we can hike to. From its humble beginnings at 1940 Acres Park, atop Double Oak Mountain established by the Alabama State Lands Act of 1927, Oak Mountain State Park has grown to 9,940 acres, making it Alabama's largest state park. I'm on the Oak Mountain Trinity Lake and White Trail Loop. That's the one that I'm hiking today. The All Trail app says that this loop is like 6.2 miles. Should be able to do that in about four hours for me. But so far, there's a lot of hills. And if you weren't real sure footed, there's a lot of places with rocks and you're on like cliff kind of feel. I really like about this backpack is even when it's super hot, it has like a, a mesh back that keeps it off of your back so that it doesn't just sit there and sweat really bad. I think this would be a great like day hike pack, maybe a couple of days, which my goal this year is to sleep somewhere one night backpacking. The thing I don't like about this backpack is I got it because it has the side bags. My phone doesn't fit in it and I thought it would. Uh, the iPhone Pro Max and it won't fit in there. So I always have to try to have a different alternative to put my phone somewhere. When you get this, you can go and I got mine at REI. I got mine at REI and they fit it to me so that way it sits on my hips and holds so even though it's heavy it doesn't feel like it's heavy because it's not pulling you back it's sitting on your shoulders because you have as it has pull straps that you can pull this and pull the weight more on your shoulders than on your back cinch it down around your waist and it sits on your hips after our 19 mile hike last weekend i've come to the conclusion 10 to 12 miles is good while i was hurting why do i decide to record every time i come up a hill <laughs> while i wasn't sore the next day or, or anything but finishing it up it was it was a real grind that last few miles it was just it was tough. It was mental, not physical, because physically my body was able to do it. Mentally, I wanted to stop, but we couldn't, we had to finish it. I've had this bag now, 
about a year. We took it to Helen, Georgia last year with us. Here at the park, they have canoeing, camping. They have two lakes. You can go fishing. They have horseback riding. They have a golf. It looks like an elephant. Or I see an elephant. Could be delirious. The hill I just climbed up. I just way up that hill. Looks pretty cool. This is magnetic. And also the clip is magnetic as well. It just snaps right in. This is like the mesh part that keeps it up off your back so you don't sweat so bad. And I really, it is mean like we went hiking in Helen, Georgia and it was really hot. I sweated, but not terrible. And now the wind's gonna pick up, so I hope the audio is good. This has the packs on the sides that you can put stuff in. And like I said, I originally wanted those to put my phone in, but now I just put things that I get want to get too quick, like my lip gloss and Kleenexes and tissues and stuff. It has two big side pockets on each side that holds a water bottle. This is the water bottle that I reviewed, but it holds a water bottle. It also has a bladder and I fill that up first and then I take the water bottle. So then in case I drink all this, I still have at least something left. It's got a place here to stuff things that it gives a lot. And then I've got like a side pocket over here and it's got like a little pocket inside there and you can just stuff things. I've got a few things in there and I'm gonna show you. It's got this cool little thing. I guess it's for trekking poles for you to put your trekking poles on here. But my GoPro goes down in here and then I can strap it in and I don't have to worry about it flopping around or anything. So I, I don't use it for trekking poles. It has a soft pocket up here. I put my car keys and stuff in there. It's not really, like, it's got little bumpers on it, but it's not super soft, but it's for like your phone, I guess. It has a really big pocket up top. I put my snacks and everything, and I mean, like, I hadn't even begun to fill that up, especially for a short hike. Another thing that it has is where the bladder bag is. You can put stuff in there as well with the water. It has a lot of space, I feel like. I really enjoyed this backpack. So, I just wanted to give it to you on this Two Cent Tuesday. Show you some pretty views while I'm hiking over here at Oak Mountain State Park. That I hope this gets y'all to want to go out and enjoy nature. Because last weekend, I was blessed to meet one of our subscribers while we were hiking. Me and Rebecca were hiking and he had like this big camera. And I'm like, I, I told Rebecca when I saw him, I said, I bet he's videoing for YouTube because he had a gimbal and all that. And uh, he kind of moved out of the way and I'm like, nice camera. And he was like, oh gosh, you're Kelly with Bill and Kelly's Adventures. And Rebecca got tickled because she was like, somebody recognized you. And so anyway, if you're watching this video, comment below because I know you told me your channel name um, was hiking and something. And I, I tried to find it when we got through meeting with you and I couldn't find it. So if you'll comment below and then look down in the description box and get my email, I'll send you a sticker. And anybody else that wants a sticker, I'll send y'all one as well. All right, hope you're enjoying our Two Cents Tuesday and I'm gonna finish my hike up here. Stay to the end because I'll put add some more footage of Oak Mountain on my walkthrough and everything so that you can enjoy that. Till next time, like and subscribe. So I've lived here my whole life and never knew they had these cool cabins on this lake.